Good morning. I am in Zurich, Switzerland. But Laura, that's very far from Barcelona. Yes, yes it is. I traveled for 13 hours yesterday. <laughs> I'm in the German part of Switzerland. Geneva is in the French part of Switzerland. And so my last train went from Geneva to Zurich. At some point in the middle, the lady who was checking tickets switched from French to German. Like we crossed some sort of line, which I found very entertaining. Everything's so pretty. I don't even know what this lake is called. Google Zurich and it'll be the giant one that extends south. Probably extends south. This is a giant one. I, uh, yeah. Waves are loud. I feel like I've discovered this before. It's too late in the season to actually want to be out on the lake. Like, I'm chilly. Comfortably chilly, but chilly in my sweater and coat. I also have a toque and gloves that I'm saving. I can't wuss out and put them on now because it's only gonna get colder. But there are no people. I have this lake to myself. Oh, look, a boat. Right now I'm staying with our family friend Olena. Waves are loud. She met me at the train platform, which was very nice. And the first words that she said to me were, you look like Spencer. <laughs> it's really good to see her again. And then at supper, her husband was like, so when was the last time you guys saw each other? She was like, well, you were 11. So 16 years, 16 years. I can already tell that these pants are gonna be uh, my favorite for the second half of this trip here because they have front pockets. It's a miracle. My coat pockets always have a phone and a camera and like they have stuff in them. But my hands are cold. I wanna put them in pockets. Pockets. And yes, mom, I can hear you in my mind. Don't walk around with your hands in your pockets. And considering the amount of times I've fallen on my face, it's probably good advice, but my hands are cold. I promise to take them out when I'm on stairs. Well, you know what it feels like permission to go everywhere? The fact that I can't read the signs telling me not to. I'm in Switzerland. I've been dreaming about this since high school. In high school, there were many three pages to a chapter in aborted attempts at me writing a book. And one of them was going to take place in Switzerland. I was reading a lot of historical fiction at the time, and so it was going to take place during World War II in Switzerland because it was neutral. That was probably the only time that I actually cracked open the physical encyclopedias that we had uh, in the basement and I read all about Switzerland. Also, I was sitting over there where that guy is fishing and then he came over and... German just sounds very aggressive. So I just like got up and was like, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't speak German. But he just wanted to fish off there. So I normally wouldn't film inside a toilet, but this one is all stainless steel and light up buttons. I feel like I peed inside of a spaceship. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is unlock the door. This country is the future. Also, that toilet was free. How come I have to pay for smelly gross ones? And that one is free. <laughs> Good morning, day two in Zurich. Today, we're exploring the city center. This is St. Peter's Church. I like it, it's kinda nice. And their chairs look much more comfortable than traditional pews. This is the second church we found. I don't know what this one is called yet, but I will find out. The church is Frau Monastery, and tomorrow, I'll be gone, but there's organ music and there are fountains everywhere. This one is weird and I like it. So there's this beautiful river that goes through the city and we're just walking along it, but like, it's very nice. It's 12, church bells are ringing. <laughs> This is the third of the big churches. I wasn't allowed to take pictures inside, but they're all pretty plain, to be honest. I mean, they, they went through the big Reformation period and stripped out all the artwork, so. It's so pretty! Olena, what's this lake called? Oh, it's just called Zurich Lake. So we just sat on the steps of the Opera House and had pretzels, and now we're gonna go for a walk along the lake. So we just went to Kunsthaus Zurich, which is an art museum thing. There was some Chagall, who I know a little bit about because I read My Name is Asher Lev, but I don't think I've ever actually seen any of his paintings in person, so that was cool. And then my favorite rooms are always the ones with Monet and Van Gogh and Matisse, so that was fun. Now we're just wandering down these tiny cute streets that are full of construction and cafes. We're back in the square in front of the Opera House this time to watch children run through the fountain, but mostly to eat ice cream. It's my first campfire in two years. Oh, let away! and the sun's going down and it's, it's gonna be great. But that's it for Zurich. Thanks for watching. I get the train tomorrow at 7.09. Subscribe to find out where it takes me and to find out who I'm gonna meet there. Bye. The lit up building is the Lint Chocolate Factory.